Hey, Poofs and Poofs, chat. Say, uh, did that sound a lot quieter than usual? That seemed really quiet. Mm, how do I sound? It looks like it's bopping like normal over here. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Uh, give me a brief second here. I want to... I want to sniff this out. Mmm. No. Hmm. So I can't... I can't tell... <laughs> uh... I'm not sure if I always had my certain volume set the certain way that they are. I I, I can't seem to remember. Hmm. I hella can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember at all. Hmm. What's up, Buck Nasty? Did it seem fine? Did it seem like the normal audio level for, for the music in the background? I don't know. It's just, it sounds really... One, two, three. It usually just sounds really loud for me, like... Not really loud, but like I usually hear it pretty damn loud. But this doesn't this doesn't seem all that loud to me anymore. But it looks like it's registering right where it should be on OBS, so I guess we're okay. Kinda weird. Mm. But it looks like it's registering. Eh, I don't know. Kinda weird. I i I'm telling you man, this streaming shit gets weirder every time. <laughs> it's impossible to keep track of everything. I mean one day off. My mom got scared. Mm, and then slapped the rock. Was it the rock that he slapped? Who did he slap? It wasn't the rock. It was, uh, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, you know the guy from Rush Hour? No, it wasn't him. Mm, listen, we'll forget about it. I said anything. Uh, it was too on topic anyways. Salty Sandwich, how's it going, pal? It's good to see you. Mm, I hope life's treating you good. <laughs> Don't give me that bird. Mmm... Okay, let's get rid of that there. God, it just seems so strange. I wonder what I did. Because so I might have, there's like a little audio volume thing here that I might have clicked by accident. Uh, let me do a, let me do a uh, let me do a re, just a random resub. Can I test? How do I test a thing? I'm gonna reuse uh, Chaos's sub. How does this sound? Oh, see that that sounds totally normal. Oh yeah, that sounds totally normal. Maybe even kind of loud. Hmm. Weird. Alright, well hopefully that's not too fucked up. Gift me now? <laughs> You're already a sub! It's impossible to gift! You can't gift a guy who's already got a sub. And besides, I didn't piss you off. I didn't fucking treat you like shit. I treated you exactly the way you deserve to be treated. Calorie counting ass salad munching having low calorie. <laughs> How's it going, man? Fuck you! Yeah, alright, I guess I deserve that. How's it hanging, man? I think we're gonna beat this game today. Are you excited? I'm kinda excited. You watched the stream? What'd you think? I lost it, right? Oh, man, my balls are itchy. You're right, it was boring. Yeah, it was pretty boring, wasn't it? I was pretty I was I was pretty pissed. I'll be mean, honest with you, it bothered me a lot more than I thought it would. It, like, it actually bothered me a lot. Not the stream, but not killing that boss. I was definitely pouting. <laughs> I was in full-on I hate my life mode. Like, I was really unhappy. I was super unhappy. <sighs> but, you know, I went back and I killed her the way that apparently, you know, most people kill her. So, whatever. I got her dead, and that's all that matters. Yeah, that's the thing, right? When you're in that mood. This happens with fighting games, but I think with fighting games there's a little bit of wiggle room, you know, because it's like, you don't really know what I'm going through. You know, you see that I didn't anti-air the guy, but you didn't see all the times that I did, you know? Fighting games are really hard to talk to and give advice. You really just have to learn it yourself. You have to just apply yourself and wherever you suck, just let that suck, but keep what you're doing good you know, stay focused on that, and the more you focus on that, you'll get more brain waves to get, you know, less sucky at the other shit. That's our, that, that's kind of like, that's one thing, right? When I tell people, like, I know you're trying to help, but you're not, you know? <laughs> like, fucking just shut up and let me fight this guy, you know? That's one thing. But you saw what I was doing, and that was, like, totally its own fucking messed up shit. 
It really was just, I was really upset that I couldn't kill her in a timely manner with my build. That's literally all it was. And we'll, we'll talk about it when we do the, I'm still down for a big review on this game, by the way. I know it's been a really long time, but I'm hoping we beat this today. I'm hoping in the next couple of hours we, we beat this. It might not happen, uh, but if we do beat this tonight, today, this morning, whatever, um, I think tomorrow I will try and actually do a review stream and we'll, we'll just break everything down and I'll air out all the dirty laundry and just see what I really feel about the game. What up there, banana? Baltic? How's it going? Mm, but yeah, I, I'm really glad we beat her. <laughs> I'm like really, really glad I put that bleed on. I was so surprised when the bleed was doing incredible amounts of damage. I was like, holy fuck. Never would have imagined it. Um... Yeah, so I think we'll focus on beating this today. Mm, I hope you guys are having a good day. Anything cool? Start playing? Hold your fucking horses, pal. I'll play when I'm damn good and ready. Uh, case in point. Max Payne. You guys fans? I'm a little bit of a fan. I played Max Payne 3 and I thought it was kind of fun. I sort of liked it. Never played the first two. Apparently, Max Payne's getting a remake. Like a full-on remake. They're actually redoing the first and second games. Supposedly. I'm actually not sure about the second one. But the third game was really, really fun. And it's actually still kind of recent, so you can, like, fire it up and play it. Mm. But, yeah. I was pretty excited to hear that. That sounds really cool. I might have something in the future to look forward to. I never played the original, so it might be fun. And if they're going to remake it, that means they're going to, like, you know, put in a new engine and shit, right? Like, it's not a remaster. They're not just, like, porting it. Apparently, they remastered Chrono Cross... You guys know Chrono Trigger is my game, right? That's, like, the game I love the most out of forever. Chrono Cross, though, was weird. With Surge and Kid. It was a weird game. I didn't really dig it, to be honest with you. It was too strange. It was too strange for me when I was playing it as a kid. I didn't like it. Chrono Trigger was always more my jam. Well, apparently they remastered that. And that one's actually just a remaster. Uh, but the Max Payne's going to be an actual remake. So that, that sounds kind of cool. Mm. Most of this game, I mean, that statement there, right? You gotta realize this isn't really a Souls game. It's this game is probably a lot more like Sekiro than anything. You know what I mean? Sekiro was really a really strong departure from Souls. You were you were really locked into what you did in that game, and and this one, you're not locked into doing a specific thing, but the bosses force you to do way more stuff than you've ever had to do before. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, I, I, I had realized it with Martin. That was, like, way back when we fought him uh, at the start of the game, right? I had... Th the, for, it took me three hours to beat Martin. I was like, why am I not able to beat this guy? And I just realized, you know, this dude is jumping back all the time. He's randomly attacking. He's constantly aggressing. He's delaying. He's doing shit. And, like, man... He just fucking really wrecked my duodenum. And then fucking three hours later, I, I kind of realized, you know, maybe I'm not supposed to be playing this the way you play Souls. And so I struggled with that truth. For, like, most of this game, I've kind of been ba trying to struggle with still playing with my swords the way I really like playing with them. And then when I got to her, it was there was no, there was no compromise. There was no compromise there. It was just flat out, hey, you do not... You cannot beat this boss... You know, unless you want to be perfect and take several days to do this, you know, like Eris, you are not going to beat this boss in a timely manner. You you need to, you need to utilize more of your shit. You know, and it, it really just the bleeds on the weapon is really all that that changed that outcome because I didn't have to survive forever. I could just, I, I could just live. You know, I could I could do enough damage to not have to stay in the fight for so goddamn long. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna flush, man. I was seriously, I was gonna flush. I, I, I was gonna leave the whole game. It's like, you know, if you play Souls, you don't skip a boss. You know, that's 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 like completely against the philosophy in, in any Souls game. You don't you don't leave bosses on the table. You go do them. You know, that's that's what's fun about the games is doing the bosses. And here I was about to leave a boss behind, right? And I was like, man, that is really fucking trash it took me a day to kind of breathe about it and just be like all right look you know why don't you just try it on your job you've got lots of time just try it on the job and see what happens switching over to bleed you know an hour later the fucking chick is dead and i'm just like wow 
that's all it was. I just needed to cause her to bleed with my swords, and I was... That's it? <laughs> like, all right, you know, fucking whatever. Bleed and... Okay, yeah, you're right. Bleed and determination and the courage to go back and beat her. So, listen, let's move on to beat the rest of the game. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about that during the review. We'll talk about it during the review. You know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's let that septum face, huh? <laughs> Anyways, it's good to see you both. <laughs> <laughs> I might, we might talk a little bit about the game if if I beat it today. We we might do that. But what I'm thinking about is if we beat this game, uh, I could probably go to bed early, and then tomorrow after work I can do the review stream, and then maybe this weekend I'll have the Star Wars Lego game, Lego Star Wars Skywalker, whatever. You know that 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 game has elements of the uh, new ones in it, right? You guys requested that game, and like I don't know if I could sit through that fucking you know the new movies. That's difficult, man. That's a difficult one. I can't get through the prequels. In fact, I have learned to appreciate the prequels. You know, the 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 new movies had made me look back on all the shitting I did for the prequel movies, and I was like, you know what? These weren't too bad. <laughs> These weren't too bad. These aged pretty well, you know? The the choreographed fighting and shit, the flipping around of the sabers and shit, and spinning them unnecessarily. You know, the lava fight at the end of the third one. I was like, wow. Hmm. You know, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It really holds up. Now that we've seen, like, what could happen, right? <laughs> I can't wait for the pod racing. Uh, hooligans. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a mess. I like the normal, I like the original movies though. I think the original movies will be cool. I like that part. So, I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'm feeling pretty good. What do you say we um, engage in the last boss and uh, whatever phases, whatever goes down, we're just gonna try and figure it out for the next couple hours and hopefully beat it. I don't know if I will. I don't even really know what we're getting into, but um, you know, I usually do pretty good with the main bosses. They're not they're not easy, but they're also not, like, insane, so. You need an emote of Little Annie and his pod? Man, let's just, let's just focus on some Elden Ring here, pal, okay? Let's just focus on some Elden Ring. <laughs> just touch this gold shit, all right? Let's, let's move on. Damn. It's kind of bright. <laughs> it's kind of bright. I didn't get any sleep, by the way. My, I'm fat and my feet hurt, so don't fucking get all judgmental if I if I suck at this. I got no sleep. I should have gotten some sleep. I fucking didn't. What the hell? I should probably hang on to this. This is not pod racing. That's boobies. Uh-oh. She fell. Did her titties fall off, too? I like the last guy. Godfrey, was that his name? He was pretty cool. He has that line that I thought was really cool. I have given thee courtesy enough. I like that. That's a good line. If I ever have to stab someone, I'm going to use that line. Damn, the music. Hey, is this a guy or a not guy? Is this Andromeda on purpose? Damn. Ah, it looks kind of cool. Interesting. Got a hammer. It's a light bright. Radagon of the Golden Order. What do you got? Okay. Okay. Wow, nice delay. Oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh! Jeez, you really hold up, don't you? Okay, everyone's got to stop, huh? Wow. He hit me. Uh-oh. He hit me from that far away? All right, all right. Admittedly, I chugged in his face a little bit. I, I admit. 
a little reckless. I'm just warming up, you know? I haven't seen this guy before. But he's mostly naked. How much? How hard can he be? You know, he's the last boss, and he's mostly naked. It's probably not that bad. Probably not that bad. Maybe. <laughs> he's delaying his shit like crazy. You know, it's hilarious to me that they make all these many, many changes, but the one change that really impacts me is a change I can't really complain about because it was in Dark Souls 3, and that's just delaying your attack. If you just kind of throw or sprinkle that into a boss, it's fucking challenging, man. It takes a lot of effort to figure that shit out. <laughs> Ooh, hey, uh, can I skip this? That's really bright. Yes. Okay, here we go. So the first attack whiff, right? Oh, boy. All right. What is that? Okay. I chug in his face! Okay. okay. What the hell? Um. I think it just one shot at me. I think it just one shot at me. I don't like how these dudes can fly in the air and stay up there because it's a variation of the whole delaying their attack thing. <sighs> Whatever. Fucking, it's too late to complain about that now. That's been, like, literally every boss. <laughs> like, every boss hangs in the air for fucking decades and then fall on you. What's with the last two guys fucking having stomps, too? God damn. It's like the uh, Crucible Knights, right? They got all these kick moves on the floor and shit. splash damage maybe I don't know it kind of feels like I'm in there it, it feels like I can work something with the dodges but I'm doing quite a good good chunk of damage aren't I it's not too bad I don't feel like backing off quite yet I think I can get in there mm, god but what I need to heal when I need to heal I back off and I get blown up I haven't really seen the shit though, so that's probably why Run up. The personnel kid! Teleports, huh? Okay, he doesn't like it when you heal. <laughs> That's crazy! Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, so when he Oh god, that delay is so fucked up. That is so fucked up. When he's gonna he's gonna chase you down, it doesn't look like he's gonna chase you down. Man. gotta keep at this one i gotta figure this one out this guy's got some moves you know he's got he's got some weird ass i'm coming for you but not yet you know he's, he's one of those you know raises the hammer up in the sky and you know five minutes from now your life fucking ends kind of guy you know what i'm saying he's just waiting well two can play that game i can wait too very patient player i play fighting games i'm very patient <laughs> How long was that? Oh god. Seriously? Oh boy. Wow. 
Why can he do that, though? He left some shit on the floor. This guy's pretty buff. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh oh. Yep. Hey, is that a roll catch? I don't like how he can do that. Uh oh. Oh, that delay. All right, this guy's gonna take a lot of work. He delays everything. Hey, remember my dodge. Oh boy, don't remember my dodge then. Remember the dodge before that, you idiot! Oh god, I swear to god, this fucking game remembers your dodge, doesn't remember your dodge. Like, fucking come on, man. You, you're gonna carry my shit over? Fucking don't argue with the ref. Right now, I'm the fucking empire, right? Like, I'm the fucking, I'm the coach running out there throwing his hat on the floor, fucking stepping on his shit, yelling at the referee and shit. Fucking, I'm so pissed because this guy's like, I press dodge and it doesn't carry it over. I press dodge and then it does. Ugh, oh, fuck it. Just make up your mind, man. Anyways, I'm doing some pretty good damage to this guy. I just gotta avoid him, right? I gotta figure out how to get out of there. This guy's... He's down... He's playing... He's playing with you. He fucking... Oh, that's why I gotta skip. He does that shit. Oh, God. Like that! Oh. What happens if I run like really far? Yeah, okay. Oh boy, new stuff. It remembers then. Ooh. Where'd he go? Oh boy. I couldn't see him up there. I can he heal for free. In the hell was that? Is that actual damage? <sighs> I don't think I can avoid that one. If I roll that, it pops on you. I think if I'm next to him, that's like guaranteed damage. These are some really bizarre properties. Mm, and I seem to be popping him in this phase two. He seems to have a phase two when he stomps on the floor. Curious. Curious individual. He's got some tricks, I'll admit, but I think I can adjust. They don't seem too nasty. If I get lucky with some good ones, you know what I mean? How's the volume of the game? It didn't change, right? Weird. He's got a fourth hit, chat. He never. Oh boy. Come on, really? Right when I hit. That is kind of cheap, don't you think? Oh, a stomp? In a... That is so fast. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Delay city, huh? Everything's delayed. I need a better variation. This one didn't work out so well. Even when I, even when I know it's coming, it's fucking. <laughs> and that's an auto tracker. That's a, oh, and there's a cliff. I almost ran over the cliff. That is really quite cheesy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's very cheesy. He's got magnetic strips on his weapon. That's cheesy. But that just means I have to fucking precisely roll. You know, that's just all that is. Magnetic strips. <coughs> Excuse me. Dark Souls Two. This guy is a Dark Souls 2 boss. You gotta be like 100% on the dodge, which is a not it's a it's a bit of an order, but it's not that big an order, you know? That's a tried and tried and true Dark Souls ism, so. You just gotta get good. That's not a big deal. He's 
still gets the swing. Man, that's so hard to predict. Oh, no, he doesn't throw it right away. And it blows up. remember there though. And a fourth hit, huh? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Ooh. So I was expecting that to be that move, but with the floor pound. He raises his leg for both moves, right? The, the leg raise isn't just the stomp. He can also go into that hammer thing. It looks exactly the same. I think that's what I was thinking because he did the route. He did the route where he where he auto tracks you with the magnetic strip. What up, Pokemon? You still in a bad mood? No, man. I feel much better. I killed Miranda. I'm on the last boss. I feel much better. Things are going good. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to beating the game. I'm going to talk some shit about it probably tomorrow if I beat it today. Ooh, this guy is not oh boy. Yeah, if you're even a moment early, it does no damage, but I'm kind of guaranteed to hit you. Come on, man. Oh boy. Maybe I need the mash heart. Like that. Yep. Yeah. Nice! Uh -oh. I can run for that. I can't run for that. Man, the timing is so tough. Oh, come on, man. I don't know what that is. the floor it doesn't instantly happen like the first two this guy's gonna take a little bit of work I was talking shit about I talk about shit about the whole chat every one of every bit of you it's, it's funny that you say you can jump it you saw me panic jump like three times right but the third blast isn't the same as the first two blasts these are all like gotcha things you know what I got they're fucking they're just like <laughs> You've never seen them before, so you're gonna have to lose to a bunch until you make the adjustment. It's kind of cheesy that way. But, you know, he's the final boss. That's not unusual. Why does he get a second one out of that? Get a second one here? No. Come on. Oh boy. Wild. Behind him. Uh, I can't. I, don't, I, I guess I can't. Here we go. Nope. Ugh, too early. And he can punish that.
Why did that hit? Oh my god, you guys can't even see the fight at this point, can you? I held down the button to do like a delayed dodge and it thought I wanted to run. Man, that would have been perfect right there. It was a perfect dodge. It says the game overlays the button. The button does double duty and so sometimes you get a run when you want to dodge. This is how it be. This is how it be. <clears throat> hey, uh, Salty, you want to you wanna educate our, our friend there that uh, he can't talk trash? To your favorite streamer, you wanna you wanna help him out a little bit. He seems a little uh, confused. He seems a little confused. Maybe you should educate the the young man. Educate the young man what you do to uh, guys like that around here. Young men, let him know what you do to vulnerable young men such as him. Oh god, he really waited on that one. Okay, because I rolled the wrong way. Who's a chug in your face? And fuck you. And there's the fucking auto tracker. Where's the stomp? Where's the stomp? Does he not stomp anymore? Maybe he did a different move instead. Maybe he did a different move and so he doesn't do the stomp if he does a different move. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> to the gulag. That's a place. That's a place. I just want to make sure you instill the fear in his eyes, okay? That's what I want. I don't ever want to see that kind of trash in here again, you understand? Especially when I'm getting good. You know, you've seen my dark side, buddy. You know where it can go. Now you know the depths of my power. I can turn fucking Anakin in a brief moment. And right now you're looking like a Jedi youngling to me. Looking real tasty. Ow. Do you have to jump it? I think that's the deal. Don't hit me. Don't you fucking hit me. Oh! Oh! I'm just gonna heal through it. I don't know what's happening. Oh! I can heal that. Oh, I can't heal after that! That was crazy. I've always been able to heal after that, but I think because the earlier explosion knocked me down for longer than his fist. Man, this guy, okay. Maybe I was talking a little bit of shit about him earlier. The delays, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more than the delays. What's up, Tulad? A little bit more than just delays, but let me tell you, after, give me a while, and I will have this guy, okay? I don't want to see any more maidenless behavior in chat, okay? Salty's on watch here. So if I see anybody without any goils, there's going to be a problem. Lucky for you, I can't look at chat, because I'm pretty focused on this guy. Don't hit me. Nice. Oh god, don't hit me! I don't like this guy. You're not nice. That is un- oh boy. I need to find a bit. It's a command grab that puts me into the fucking floor? Can I heal after that? Yeah, apparently. That is cheap. Come on. Come on! I oh boy. Come on, drink, drink, drink! Ah, he mashed on square, and my guy's like, I don't know what I'm doing. What does square button do? Fucking, I was mashing on drink. I was gonna survive that fucking... Whatever. He's cheap with that, right? He just throws it out. 
I'll deal with it. Don't worry. I'll fucking destroy this guy's cooch and you guys will be sucking my cooch before you know it. You won't even have a chance. You won't even know what other one per you won't even know what another streamer's cooch tastes like once you get a, get a big old mouthful of mine. And that's what you're going to have once I get through this motherfucker. He's just a little bitch. That's all. He's a little bitch. Ain't never seen a little bitch like him. That's the problem. If I had seen a bitch like him, it wouldn't be so hard. But he's just a little bitch. I'm learning. That's not quite what I had in mind. I think I ran out of stamina again. That is crazy weird. I'm just gonna chug. Okay, it's not good enough. Is really unfair to me. I can't see at all. What is that? Do you just have to know that's happening? I'm just gonna heal. Yeah, see, if I had healed back there, it would have been better. Because it travels. Come on, man, I'm dodging. Can't see at all. <laughs> oh, come on, man! This is really cheap. <laughs> this is really cheap that he can like, you know, as he vanishes, his vanish when he comes back, it's not always the same. Sometimes he's like, floop, floop, and then he's like, he hits you and he floops like that. All right, a little cheesy. Okay, I understand. You know, he's the final boss. They had to shove all sorts of cheap ass shit in there. Hey, I don't like that kind of talk. Someone take care of him. You know who I'm talking about. Bad variation. You, you know what I'm talking about. Bad variation. Chula knows all about bad variations. I hate that. I hate that! Everything's too fast. <laughs> too quick. What? It's so... Can't do anything about it, right? And then that is so quick! And that is so alright, this motherfucking. I don't like this guy. He's very unfair. What the hell was even that? And remembers your dodge. Oh. I was mashing dodge the whole time. He keeps going! He keeps going! He gets to keep going. He has so many combos at the end of- Oh. That's the first time I ever dodged his thrust, and he just kept going like it's all one natural combo. A sense of bleed coming on? It's pretty tempting. Unless you're talking about what you're gonna do to someone in chat. The fucking course he's gonna keep going. He just keeps going. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> the more you think about it, the more silly it gets. It really is like they took Sekiro as the base, right? I thought the bones of the game was Dark Souls. I think the bones of the game is Sekiro. Fucking, these guys are Vin Diesel fans. I dodged that while well, I was ready to dodge it. Problem is, is he gets to do like everything under the sun. And he does it at weird times. I have no stamina in which to walk that.
Come on, man. I did that third hit just to dodge that part. <laughs> oh, he got me. He got me again. Nice all roll catches. Nice roll catches. Got another one? No? Alright. Usually you do. There's got to be like a tell or something. <laughs> ah! I still can't jump because I'm healing. Nice hands on air. Oh! Isn't that cheap? You guys have got to admit. Maybe it's a matter of just like... Avoiding everything and then attacking. Like that. Nice! Nice! Alright, I told you guys we get them. Not that hard. Not that hard. That was really easy. So listen. Now's the time to start shitting on this game, because he for sure doesn't have a phase two. This is the end of the game. This is the end of the game. He's dead. That motherfucker dead. That was way too uh, cheesy. They couldn't possibly give another part of this phase. There's no way. Because they wasted all their fuck you. Hey, uh, can you somebody stab Tulip for me, please? I have four pots left, so that means I drank ten. Alright, thank you. And I have my backup. You know what? I bet this phase is going to be even easier than the first. I bet this is going to be an easy stage. Watch this one and done. Are you ready? <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be really easy. What I'm going to do is get, like, to his side. I'm going to get, like, behind him and to his side. And then I'm going to hit him with my swords. It's like a giant penis, I guess, with wings. <laughs> He's like me if I was a god. Kind of fat, you know. Got a little chub going on. <laughs> Just been eating a lot of celestial fast food. Damn, he does look like a penis. All right, check this out. I bet he has a weakness, and his weakness is that he's fat. I can just like run behind him and just be like, "Oh, check this shit out." Oh yeah. You didn't like that. Where'd you go? What are you going way over there for? What's that? Uh oh. Uh. What's happened? Oh! Okay. That didn't work very well. Okay. A little cheap. Woo! Okay. All right. All right. Cheesy. Real cheese. Are you? Hey, the game can't even follow him. My camera doesn't go up that high. What is happening right now? I can't tell. It's all roll catches. I can't see. I can't see! How am I supposed to do anything against this guy? You're another uh, health chugger, huh? What's that? Oh! Oh! Instant kill? Instant? He killed me, like, right away. He had, like, a series of unavoidable moves. You gotta be pre-running. Okay, when he shines, you gotta pre-run. But don't even worry about that. I still have this motherfucking Hammond guy I gotta deal with. And then there's Spoinkin. Don't even get me started on Spoinkin. 
Hey, I got that motherfucker to like half life on four pots. Imagine what I can do once I have all my pots. Imagine that. <laughs> that guy is a motherfucker. Yeah, you admitting there's variations? Yeah. I know. Oh. Oh. Man, everything hit, huh? Yeah, alright. Yeah, alright. I've, I've did. I know. I know. You delay longer than it looks. Real, real cute. Real cute. Try it again. Resetting my Mario's. Real cute. Real cute. Yeah, I get you. Thinks he's all funny. Thinks he's all good shit. He's like, oh, this guy. You know what all this is, right? I'm doing this on purpose. This is all just good stream content. I'm just being a good streamer for you guys. Like, you know, oh, bros, I didn't know he did that. Oh, I've never seen that move before. You know, all this, this is all scripted. It's all scripted. You know how it is. Yeah. You, know you know, you you think you know the most skilled people are the guys that beat it in the first try, but the real skilled people are the guys that prevent themselves from beating it to, you know, milk out the content and have a decent length to their stream today. Oh god, he really waited on that one. And that one he doesn't wait so much on. And a fourth. Yeah, okay. All out of stake. Ah, uh, I had the wrong heal out. What the hell? <laughs> that is so cheap. Oh, this thing. I jumped! Hey, chat. Am I being lied to? I literally got knocked out of the air. Am I supposed to dodge that? I Because somebody in chat said jump. I literally just jumped and got knocked out of the middle of the air. A pillar shined upwards and got me. You know, you can never tell if jump is like an actual evasion move. You can never tell. Your legs, like, they're always vulnerable in this game. It's very difficult. Roll is better smile. Well, I mean, very clearly, there's no way I was jumping over it. The last one, maybe you can jump. I hate this white flash. This is, this reminds me of Street Fighter V. I always hated that. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Unpredictable and crazy. Cheesy. I didn't think he would spawn next to me. Alright, yeah, I drank too much anyways. I need more I need more health. I need more health. 
I swear, bros. Wink, wink. I didn't fucking know he would spawn right next to me. Wink. Greedy. I did not get greedy. I did two swings so that I wouldn't do a third swing because I knew the third wouldn't work. So I wasn't greedy at all. I was perfect. I just failed the dodge. Fuck you. Wasn't even greedy at all. Fucking greedy. I did two swings. I could have done a third. Of course, you wouldn't know because you're trash. You're trash at this game. You realize that? You had to beat it with fucking magic. Try getting some swords and beating it like a man. Have you ever thought about that? Magic, you little bitch. Oh, I got faith. Oh, 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 I can buff myself whenever I want. Fucking faith, you little bitch. I'll take that. Especially with this. Woo! Free damage. See? I tried to dodge it, not jump it. Come on, let me... Let me at least dodge one of these, please! <laughs> let me at least get one dodge! That's actually timed out a series of four attacks, but they're just, he's like, nope, this is the variation where everything is going to be a roll catch. Ugh. I should have seen it coming. I should have banked on the roll catch. Whatever. I need more health anyways. Hell yeah, I'm using the fucking swords. I only used swords for all the bosses. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Only use swords. On all of them. It's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. Might be a bit of a long street to take, chat. You get to the attack. Anyway. Yeah, and then the explosion. I, I managed to avoid that. Oh, and it's gonna hit the ground! Oh. I don't know what to do about that. There's an explosion in front of him, and then there's an explosion all on the ground. So it's kind of like, you can't do anything. I don't see any stabbing happening in chat. How come uh, How come that is the case, Buck Nasty? You, uh, you're not looking to sharpen your sword or anything like that? You're just fucking... Just letting it sit there, letting it collect a little bit of rust, posting a bird's face? Is that your sword now? Is just that bird's disappointed face? Seems like you're neglecting your job today. You do the deed. I'm playing a fucking game. That's why I got your ass with a fucking sword, man. I forged that for you. I did not know the timing of that bullshit. Take that hit. There's nothing you can do about it. If you dodge it right, you get that hit. See what I mean? Supposed to do that? It doesn't carry my dot. It doesn't carry my dot. 
Third hit. I'll take it. Not the best, but I'll take it. Six heals? Let's try it. Hmm. <laughs> Skip this shit. Uh, feel free to stab whoever you want, Splangin. Just stab anybody. Mm, too late. Alright, stab them both. Remember. This! I can't run! Oh, I can run now! Hey, what did he do this last time? Oh, it was that. Okay, wait for the ring. And then dodge through it. Like a pro? Huh? Okay, I gotta run out of it. That's the problem. There he is. Where is he? <laughs> the motherfucker's right in my face and my sword's like, he ain't there. Oh! Nice turnaround. Look at this! Oh, it's this thing again! Run! Come on! That was a good dodge! Oh god, I gotta... Oh god! I can't tell if what is, what is what. I don't know what that is, but I'm running. What the hell is all of this? Jeez, does that ever go away? That was wild. Oh, nice delay on everything. Yeah, uh-huh. I get you. Just like all the other bitches. Can I please hit him with my tiny sword, please? Oh, God. Sure would be nice if I had a big pair of swords. I'm gonna chug this. Premature. Oh! Okay, we gotta run out. Run out, run out. I don't know what's happening. Oh. None of that worked because I think I was up on the wall. Did you see that? There's a wall in this stage. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. It's this fucking thing. It's hitting me at my fast maximum speed. That's. Oh, I hit the button. My maximum speed is no bueno for the fucking stars. What are you supposed to do? I got through that fucking huge ball. Did you see that ball? I fucking moved through that shit. That was wild. That whole shit was fucking crazy. He moonlight great sorted me. Hey, you saw his health though, right? If I can get to that stage, the problem is, is the guy's running like a little bitch. I think what you were saying earlier is that the fucking, uh, you know, variation. You gotta get a good variation. If he does that ball shit, it's like it's over. Excuse me, I'm farting my ass off, by the way. You guys are lucky there's no smell of vision right now. You don't use armor? How about you stop using that dick in your mouth? Fuck you! I'm out of stamina. Way faster than I was predicting. Never dodge that. I think you gotta jump in. Yeah! 
he just gets to keep doing things. He never stops, man. Yeah, you just gotta get a good variation. I swear to God, both both bosses are just variation bosses. He just never stops swinging sometimes. He's like, nope, I can just keep teleporting and doing that shit. <sighs> Whatever. Better variations. I'll get him. I'll fucking get him. I already got his number. I just gotta dial it up. I'm looking for the right phone, you know? Fucking, I'm working with a pair of rotary phones right now, you know? Normal ass swords. No elite builds, no bleeds, no frost, no fate magic, no great sword that can reach half across the fucking screen. I have to do this like a real man. You guys wouldn't understand. I wish I could dodge that. I think I ran out of stamina. A real stamina problem on these bosses, man. Oh no, and because I got hit. Oh boy. Because I got hit at the last time, there's no way to heal through it. Damn it. So, you know, if I'm low on health, it's better to just chug and take the damage. There's no jumping over that third one at all, is there? How do you get through it? How do you, legitimately, how do you get through it? You have to dodge? Because you said dodge earlier, but it's like, I dodged when I was right next to him and I got behind him and it still hit me. Even though I was behind him at the end of the dodge. I was laying on the ground behind him. It was like, that is not a position I'd be in if, you know, my iframes were there. Twin mace build? Uh-huh. Sure, real impressive. Ah! Ah! But then he can... Yeah. Aha! I made it once. Way too early. I can't. I couldn't see him up there. Nice. So either he either pops up with a stab that's instant. Okay, that's gonna hit behind him. Look. I delayed that too. I like that. Only one, huh? I didn't delay any of those. <laughs> there is something there. Yeah, there's something going on that I can't handle. I don't know what it is. There's a trick to it. I can't find it. I can't see it. It's impossible to see. There's just too much light all up in the face. I can't tell where you're supposed to dodge there. There's definitely something. It's not just timing. You're wrong that it's only timing. The actual trick is positioning. You can see that there are pillars that are coming out and there are open spaces. Those are the ones you can either dodge or jump in. You can't do either one on the big pillars. The big pillars will just hit you. They're too long. So, you know, if you were paying attention, you would see that. But it's all right. That's why I'm here to tell you because, you know, your eyes don't work very good. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. That's why I'm here. That's why you watch your favorite streamer smile. Because I explain what you guys are missing. Motherfucker, way up there. Ugh. Whatever. Timing, timing issues. Be nice if you had some kind of a clone. Some kind of clone that's gonna stand in the middle of all these explosions. Yeah, that sounds really helpful. Although, maybe on the last boss, that might not be so bad. He doesn't explode when he attacks. Hmm. Might be on something there. But that sounds kind of bitch made. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I did this whole game with just two swords, so, you know. Not bragging. Not bragging. Just saying. 
Just saying. You know, I'd like this guy more if he didn't have a lot of, like, interrupt moves. <laughs> like, that chain is very reasonable chain. what I mean? Ugh. Damn, I negated it. Barely. I'm not used to that one. Kind of lifts his foot before he does that. Yeah, he's just, this has been his old variation today. It's just non-stop attack. He hasn't given me one moment. Not one moment. Oh, get out of there. Whoo! That was a variation, the most aggressive yet. Lots of lightning, lots of hits. Yeah, that was a very aggressive variation. But your boy farted really hard throughout like the whole thing and I managed to pull it off. You have no heart you have no idea how hard it is to fart and pay attention at the same time. You guys have never done anything like that in your life. I don't like how I'm being blocked right now. You know that part is like really important because of all this. It's really hard. Okay. So don't run yet. Hey, I did it! Wow, that shit's tight. Why is he doing way over there? Oh god, now he's got like a fire breath move. What is that shit? Oh god, he's gonna do this thing. That was... that was... That was... That was... I was not expecting any of that. I thought for sure he was gonna delay it. This boss is so much running, it's insane. If you can get a good variation though, it's not too bad. If you had to bleed, I bet I would have beaten this by now. You saw how low I got that second guy, right? But there's no guarantee these guys bleed anyways. I don't think the first guy's gonna bleed. He looks like he's made out of stone. He doesn't actually have any blood. But then again, bones can bleed in this game. Isn't that fucking weird? Bones can bleed. This guy though? I have no idea. But who cares? That's pussy shit. Fucking... I'm learning over here. I like this guy's patterns. They're pretty cool. Sorry, but that looks like all the other moves. Oh, that's 
hoping his thing would go away. I'm looking for that leg drop, but he doesn't quite do it. Oh, I didn't swing. It was an accident. I dropped my controller. I dropped my... Oh. He killed me. <laughs> Am I backing off too much? Maybe I'm backing off too much. I can't tell where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I, can't, I really can't tell at all. It, it, it's just a guessing game on my end. I haven't figured that move out. I just have to guess. Maybe hope he doesn't do it or something. But he has to do it at least once. It seems like it's in his repertoire. This ride saw B. B? Is this side roll B? I could try it. I mean, the problem is, is I have to jump the first two. Because they produce, uh, they're right in the center of me, so I don't see how it would work. I love it, it didn't carry over my input that one. probably notice I'm timing all the delay strikes now, and I'm letting like all the instant attacks go through. Because you can't really account for them. You have to account for this. He does that faster if you're closer to him. That's what it is. I don't think I've seen that one before. That's a new one. <laughs> he lands predictably on his own attack. Uh -oh. Yeah, you know, I guess a side roll. So maybe it's a jump and then a side roll. Maybe that's the deal. Jump and side roll. That's probably what I gotta do. I think if the move is easier to evade the closer you are to him. I don't know. I guess I could go try and do that. It feels like the second one is is like stopping the jump. The first one's a jump. The second one might be a roll. But then if I'm too close on the third one, he blows me up no matter what. Roll or jump. I've perfectly timed both of those. And the third roll, if I'm right next to him, has like a area burst or something. Yeah, bleed immune, I imagine, I imagine. That's the one thing I was hoping you wouldn't do. I just gotta get used to it. You see, like right here, I kinda get lucky with that. And I have to be away from that so that I can see. to run. I didn't mean to fucking hit it. I had to fart and I let go of the plug. Okay, side zone. Ooh, and what about this? Straight ahead? So I don't even know if I got the dodge off in time. It looked like I timed it too slow. Be perfect. Come on! I could have stuck him again. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! Just had to take the one last drink, huh? Fine, whatever. Take it. 
just had to take the one last drink, huh? Just, just, you know, the fucking pass on. Just fucking... Give me one more drink, bitch. I can only get three shots in on this guy. I don't like how he runs. Uh oh. I also don't like how he makes me fucking do platforming in this game. And he's fucking on the other side of the goddamn room. What is that? Does that slow me down? Nice. Perfect. Perfectly done. Gotta give it up. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, it's this thing again. Okay, so we run, and then we have to, like... We have to run away from the big ball. And then you have to stop and dodge through the big ball. Otherwise, it will catch you. And if he decides to cast the smaller balls when you need to dodge through the big ball, you're done. You're done. There's no control of your character at that point. You're dead. You're just dead. Even if you dodge through the big ball, the little balls don't get... They don't lose tracking when you dodge. So you just have to hope he doesn't do it. Man, that is crazy. You weren't kidding. He needs... You need a, a variation on him. You weren't kidding, man. Fucking... Even you have to agree, finally, that it's variation is the most important thing. It's like a lot of bosses. I like that stomp. I like everything else. That one's a little rough. And then you can go for it. Too early. That was way too early. I can't tell. I think backing up like this and then jumping is the right move. And then for the second one, you can side dodge. Yeah, who the fucking knows what you do for the third? Just get hit by the third, I guess. <laughs> this is the only boss that people think it's impossible to get no hit on because of that one move. That is... Yeah, because technically that you can't run from the ball, right? This, that truly depends on luck or Bloodhound Step. I would imagine bl even Bloodhound Step doesn't work because you have to have a certain amount of FP to do it. That's... yeah, alright. Yeah, they're just... they're both kind of variation oriented. The first isn't as much as the second. Because if this guy... you can learn his attacks pretty good. Man, that's not quite what I wanted either. Like, right there, I like doing that. What is he gonna jump? Like, what is he gonna stomp? If I could get a better read on his stomp, I really want to, but it's just, it's not possible. I think I just have to get hit by the stomp so that when he does that, he guarantees with the fucking Thor hammer move. That seems to be the deal. Chad, I don't think we're gonna get this done today. Uh, there's a little bit too much variation at play. I think I need to roll the dice like a bunch more. 
to get the right moves, you know? I just, it doesn't quite, it seems like they've got a lot of move sets. Both of them have a lot of moves. But maybe, maybe we'll just get lucky. It's kind of like farming for a drop. It feels like I'm playing uh, Yakuza or something. I'm farming for a drop. Or not Yakuza. What was that one game I liked playing? Uh, Shenmue. It feels like I'm, I'm farming Shenmue. Time, I'll admit. Yeah, if it's gonna be the stomp, I'll take I waited way too long. I waited way too long. Oh! Oh, what? Didn't blast me off the cliff? I gotta retry. I gotta reset my Mario. I gotta reset my Mario. If I'm down to seven health, I don't feel good going into phase two. I think I need eight. I need eight when I kill him so that I can use one. And if I have seven plus my extra for phase two, I think that's a good shot. That's a good shot to roll the dice and see what happens in that phase. I, I just don't like that that boss like runs away. You know what I mean? That that really sucks in this game. There's a lot of things that irritate, but some things more than others. Bosses that run away are so irritating. This is also very irritating. It reminds me of Street Fighter V. Big white screen, irritating. Took way too long to swing. I see, it's a command grab that's awesome. Oh my! Hey, I think it really does do a lot more damage when you're out here. Ooh, double spear. Did he ever do that before? I'm not gonna drink, because <clears throat> I'm at eight. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna be kind of forceful about this and see if I can stay to seven, eight, or maybe seven if I get them really close. <clears throat> it's not as good. That means I won't get to phase two as much, but I don't think I can survive phase two without needing like six health. You know, I don't think. I think in order to roll the dice enough times, you gotta you gotta be able to heal. And I'm not familiar enough with round two to figure out what's going on just yet. So maybe I should just dump all my heals just to get the two more often. That might be a better idea. Just so I can get a little bit more use of that shit. Because uh, I still don't understand what's happening there.
Yeah, see, even though I dodged through it. I get a good variation. And I wasted it? Oh, nope. I ran. Nice! Cheesed it out and I got eight. Alright, I'll take it. Hey, if he's gonna delay that long, it's fair for me to be able to hit him, right? Come on out. If he's gonna delay, it's only fair game that I can fucking shove a sword up his cooch. Right? I think so. Hey, cheese is a strat. he always appears down there? I guess he has to, right? Because he's got a lot of moves that are like that. But then he runs away again. can't see fucking shit oh my god is that guaranteed man is that guaranteed is that guaranteed is that move uh, it has to happen right it has to happen oh my god it has to happen it's crazy because it lasts forever i can't see anything so i can't tell when that for the way was gonna come by i had the dodge and you know what i can't see my health so i might have been dead even if i, I might have dodged that right but the game killed me anyways because of the fucking ball. I'm afraid this is still just the same kind of thing we've been dealing with the whole game. Just random variation stuff. Hey, what happened there? Did I get rolled back? <laughs> Did I get fucking rolled back? I forgot that that's gonna do the thing. Whatever, let's just keep at it. Yeah, I outran the ball, but the problem is is that you're being attacked while the ball is chasing you. So the enemy, the boss, can actually fling whatever he wants at you while you're running from the ball. So you have to be aware of both things at the same time, which is really, really hard because you don't really know what he's doing. Be especially because you can't even see the boss with the ball lighting up your entire screen. I've got 4K resolution and all I see is a shiny ass golden ball in my face. It's basically Tuesday night for Tula, you know what I'm saying? Someone like him would be fine with the situation. He probably even looks forward to it. But you know, I'm not used to that. I'm used to being the ball. 
hate that. good at some things, but then I lose a pattern of other things. Oh, and he still had that shit. Yeah, I couldn't heal. There was no heal opportunity there. I was definitely keeping in it, though. But that's what I want. I want to... Uh, that's a great variation to get. It's just that last phase there. I think I dodged too early on something. I can't remember. Uh, sometimes I try to out-dodge that blinding teleport, but it's like... It has an area effect that's way bigger than you think it is. It doesn't visually look it, but it hits you from, like, really, really far. I think maybe you can outrun it. That might be an option. I could try outrunning it. But I don't think I have the ability to work that into my pattern at this point. What do you think that is? That's a pretty shitty tap right there. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I figured that was happening. All right, all right. You know what? I'm going to pop this guy for no real reason. All right. Now, if I don't get one-shotted by the ball and whatever the fuck he wants to do combo, I might have a shot. Might have a shot. Let's check it out. It's just that ball combo, man. You got to get favorable. Like you said, I got a real favorable one at the start. It always does this, huh? And then he picks the opposite side. Hey, maybe he actually did that behind me, chat. Holy fuck. That was not what I thought it was. I lived only because of the bubble. What? Boy, I can't see. Can you? Hey, what is happening? I can't see anything, and he's hitting me. Problem is, is I have to siphon through. Oh boy. He's way over there now. And now he's way over there. Ooh, you can jump that shit. That's good. Oh wait, I totally forgot what this was. I saw him. 
That was pretty tight. Can you tell what's happening right now? Or am I just fucked? this thing again. Okay. I hit the wall. Chad, I hit the wall. I can't see. Lord, help me, please. One more! Yes! Woo! The Lord doth smile upon his children today! Woo! Get the fuck out of here! Hey, someone stab everybody in chat, alright? Everybody that has a sword, stab everybody else right now. I saw all that shit talking. Stab everybody right now. I want to see nothing but a sea of blood in my chat to represent what I just did to this guy's culo! Can you believe that? The good Lord's children doth prosper! That was tight as fuck. Did you see it with your eyeballs? I hope you did, because that was tight as fuck. I can summon Ranny. Oh, this is the ending choice. Ban Pokemane's feet. That's what I like to see. Ban Tula. That's what I love to see. That is right. I knew there was somebody in chat who would do the Lord's work. I knew it. Get that work. That's what happens when you talk shit to your favorite streamer, Smile. Starting to act like Smug. Duff City. <laughs> All right, unban it, everybody. Uh, somebody make a poll. I need someone to make a poll. Spoinkin? Uh, Buck Nasty? I need a poll. What ending are we choosing? To me, uh, I want the basic default ending, which I'm assuming is whoever that strange creature is over there. But you can summon Ranny, and we can go down hard on a blue chick that is our waifu. She is our waifu. We are married. What's the option? Who is who is voting for what? I vote default ending. Default ending. What say you? I have shown thee courtesy enough. What say you? I love that phrase, by the way. That guy before this boss was tight. You know what? This last boss is kind of cool, too. Yeah, even with the hammer and stuff. Like, you know, I got good. I got good. I liked it. It was all right. I mean, it's really cheesy stuff because it's all delay. But you know what? You get it. You get it and you get it and that's it. Ooh, Pokemon saying Ronnie, we're out of tie, guys. We got Ronnie and we got uh, Default. That's two. Who else? We got Splinkin, we got Buck Nasty. Which one of you guys, who's going to cast the deciding vote? Which one do you guys want? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I don't really care. Uh, this It's going to be a while until I beat this game again, if, if I do. It really depends on if I like whatever the next build I do is, right? Although I guess I could always respec, even if I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, we want horny, so can we get the maidens with any ending? Uh, so if we do the default ending, I'm pretty sure I have to jerk off for the rest of my life. But I am Elden Lord. If I go with Ronnie, I don't know what happens. I assume we get to hang out with our waifu. Does that make sense? Because, you know, Pokemon Feet seems to think that that's where the, uh, the moist towelette is at, if you know what I'm saying. What do you think? I, I mean, so far it sounds like you're voting uh, Ronnie there, Splink. I'm being outvoted. <laughs> One year of subs to be compensated when you actually get a job, you fucking bum. <laughs> Let's say you, Splink. Or Buck Nasty. Speak up now or forever hold your butt cheeks. Because right now it sounds like it's Ronnie. Jerk yourself off as Elden Lord. Sploinkin is casting the deciding vote. Actually, I assume this is what it is. I assume this is what it is, right? Yeah, touch touch Marika. Hey, I'm sorry, man. It's two to one, Pokemon. It's two to one. Unless, uh, you, unless you can convince Buck Nasty to open up his cheeks and uh, cast a vote. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, buddy. You know, this is a democracy. Oh, hey, let me touch that. There we go. What say you? I 
I think it's over. Uh-oh. Default ending. Default ending? Chat. The Brothire has spoken. He has cemented and casted his vote from the ether as I fart really loudly. I believe it is time for the default ending. It is Elden Lord time. Nice casted. Nice casted. Well, well played. Well played, chat. He has unlimited veto powers, but in this case, he is voting for Sploinkin's side and uh, my side. So now it's three to one. So it doesn't give a fucking matter what Buck Nasty thinks, that little bitch. Fucking, he can go eat shit for all I care. Little, little salty ass fucking sandwich looking motherfucker. Yeah, fuck that guy. Hey, uh, what do we do? What is Mending Rune of the Death Prince? What is that? What is that? Death Prince Rune? What does that do? <laughs> Fucking bird. Bottom one gives buffs. <laughs> uh, use Mending Rune of Death Prince? Mm, top one just makes you Elden Ring. I want to be the Elden Ring. I want to be the Lord of Elden Ring. Yeah, I like the default. That's what, I, that's what we agreed on is default. Insanity buff? Forget it. Alright, I'm sorry. We voted default. I'm not sorry. This is the people's choice. Mend the Elden Ring as is dictated by the standard of the game. Thanks for voting. Appreciate it. That's the first time we actually came together and voted on something. Good job, chat. Nicely done. Let's enjoy ourselves, huh? That, that was a hard-won, hard-fought victory. Congratulations, chat. You watched your favorite streamer get good. Beat the shit out of whatever. All right, now I'm going to make love, I guess, to whoever I just beat the shit out of. I think. I love how Tulet's not even here. <laughs> Tulet can't bear to witness. He can't bear to witness his favorite streamer beat the shit out of the game using basic-ass swords. Way better than any of his shit. He had to resort to summoning and magic and bleed and frost. I'm over here, whole game through, not one step missed, maybe a little step, but mo all of it basically is without blood, without frost, no magic. All normal swords. Game is tight. It's pretty fun. My guy looks cool too, doesn't he? Looks like a Knight's Templar. The Fallen Leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. Shush, it's the Lord. In our home. Put that book away. Across the fog, the lands Don't you open that. between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall. Our seed? Damn. An age oh. of fracture. Man, look at this guy. I look fucking sick, dude. I look like I'm from Gondor, man. I fucking, I popped out of Lord of the Rings to own the shit out of Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. Man, it says Elden Lord trophy earned. Wait, was that really it? World created by some Miyazaki and George Martin. Wow, Mr. Martin himself. I'm muting the fucking shit out of the game, by the way. Whew. What kind of ending was that, man? That was whack. Now I want to go, like, to YouTube and see the Ronnie ending. <laughs> that was fucking, like, really quick, right? 30 second ending for a 110 plus hour game. Can you even fathom that can you fathoms i can't fathom that that's that shit's fucking crazy it's like your sex life well at least you had one of those fucking at least i got an ending you know fucking 30 seconds or not i looked good doing it bottom ending could be cool as fuck i got maybe i'll go check out all the endings because you know there's no way in dark souls 3 i literally did every single ending in dark Souls 3 it was really fun i played that game like 11 fucking times this one I don't think I could possibly do this one. I don't even know if I'm going to do a second playthrough. If I'm being real with you, this game is still flooding Twitch. It's still flooding all the wonderful forums out there. 
Did you guys notice too that the ending boss's theme song was a Demon Souls remake? Did you hear that? It was the Demon Souls theme. That was really fucking tight. I was listening to it. I was like, this sounds really familiar. It's not until I I was so busy trying to beat him that I was like, I just now remembered, wow, I think that was the Demon Souls theme. That sounded really fucking good. That was a cool callback. It was Demon Souls, man. Mm. Time for lame as hell Star Wars Lego. That's right. Star Wars Legos is next. But before we do Star Wars Lego, what is actually going to be next? This actually works out really well for me. Tomorrow, after work, I will do a review stream of my Elden Ring uh, playthrough, and we're going to talk and break down a lot of the mechanics and stuff. This is going to be heavy nerd territory, so if you really don't give a fuck about the game, tomorrow's going to be boring as shit. But I don't have Star Wars Lego yet. Uh, it's probably, hopefully, going to arrive tomorrow in the mail. But... After work, in the morning, I would like to really break down a number of things, because, you know... Dark Souls is such a iconic series that, like, really not a lot of people played, but it was super popular on Twitch, right? I don't really know a lot of people, like, personally that really enjoyed the game. Uh, it, it really was kind of like a cult sort of thing. You know, even Dark Souls 3 only sold, like, 3 million. Fucking, this game sold 12 million, probably way more by now. It was 12 million, like, a couple weeks ago. So... There's a very, very substantial shift in demographic, but also in, in gameplay that severely changes the experience of both games. I would not have imagined this, to be honest with you, because it seems like a Souls game. It, it's just everything you look at is very Souls-like, but the inclusion of like having a jump mechanic, the horse and stuff like that, those were all like... They were, they were like reasonable additions to what could still be a basic Souls game, but they totally didn't go that route. If I was to like write this second, if I were to like review everything that's in my head, I typically do this for, for the credit scenes of a game, right? The If I were to review it like right now, I would almost say this game, I would actually say this game is a lot more like an offshoot of Souls, like how Sekiro was little bit like Bloodborne, but really more like Sekiro. Just a lot of aggressive enemies, a lot of interaction, you know, stance breaking is, is definitely a part. Uh, but just the way, like, the combat kind of flows, it just feels like you're supposed to do a whole lot more than what you would do in a Souls game. You know, it's very different. So it's kind of like a mini-review. It's like a mini-review. I, I, I won't do it until... Uh, I won't do the real review, but... Uh, you know, I just beat the game. I want to I wanna barf out some thoughts, you know, just real quick stuff. Just Because right now, what do I feel? That's, that's important. Because sometimes I feel like one way when I beat a game, but then I look back later and I have different feelings about it. Right now, because I forget stuff, right? Right now, freshly coming out of uh, over 100 hours of play, um, I mean, I'm very tired. <laughs> I, I actually feel like this game... <sighs> The thing is, is like, when I wasn't engaged in the bosses, I didn't really enjoy the game all that much. I, I, I mean, in the, la in the last recent chunks, right? Like, it was fun exploring stuff in like the first half of the game, maybe even the first like two thirds of it. But I would say in the last week or two that I've been streaming this game, I really wanted to get more bosses. I was really starving for bosses. Uh, but then eventually we did hit a point where I was kind of chaining back to back quite a number of bosses and stuff uh, even even going into a dungeon and getting a boss down in there excuse me my throat's kind of drying up a little <clears throat> even going down into like dungeons and shit that was feeding me a little bit of boss uh stuff you know maybe not a real boss and and sometimes it was like a really whack enemy or something but for the most part uh once that started happening i really really got back into it things were really feeling good again i was like really into it and then when we got to fucking Miranda, or whatever her fucking name was, you know, Lasagna, Blade of Mikola, fucking that bitch, like, threw me out the window. I was really fucking angry about that. You guys could go back and still see the VOD. And I am so, I'm so pissed. Like, I'm, I'm really, like, I, it's, I'm, un, it's I'm flabbergasted that my build can't handle this chick, you know? And then, even, like, way more so... When I switched over to fucking bleeds on my swords, it that was like the only thing I needed to do to make her 
ridiculously easy. Like, not easy, but, like, fucking possible. Like, really, really possible. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was like, I went from a 10% chance of getting what I needed to win to, like, an 80% chance of getting the variation I needed. And in, in less than an hour's time, I fucking got it in Peter. That was so out of place in this game. It was wildly out of place. They really put her there just to be a giant fucking asshole. Blew my mind. It, that, that entire concept, that's an MMO concept. That's an RPG concept. That's not really a Dark Souls concept. You know, Dark Souls has very fair, very honest bosses. But Elden Ring is like, you know what? Fuck it. We don't give a shit about fair, balanced, honest. We don't care. We are trying to appeal to casuals. So here's a big ass fucking open world. Here's a bunch of fucking a random ass mechanics that all intersect with each other. And then here's all this shit bosses can do that like straight up disrespect the core of Souls games. Straight up disrespect. And at first, man, I was so angry with Martin. Three hours on Martin, right? Or fucking whatever his real name is. Morgoth or whatever. I was really pissed about that boss for three hours. But then when I finally beat him, I got the notion... Maybe I shouldn't be playing the game like Souls, right? Still, autistically, I stuck to my swords. I, I didn't use that Ash of War too much with the Frost Stomp. I did use it quite a bit at the start, I think. And then I just kind of stopped using it. I don't know. I just didn't. It, it, it's a choice, right? Hit him with your sword or do the stomp. I was just like, I'd rather just fucking hit him. Yeah, I mean, fucking, I, I, did, use the, I did use the Horse Stomp because I wanted to see what it was like. I used it, like, on the second version of Martin or something like that. Morgoth, whoever. And it did it didn't net me the kill. It didn't net me the kill. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like it was... I, I had to do something because, you know, I, this Elden Ring game just wasn't clicking the way it was supposed to. You know? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, cool. No, I don't want to do Second Journey. I, I'm not a fan of um, New Game Plus. I've never been. Cool. The place is still on fire. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, so that's basically like, this is like my short, my short review here is essentially when I started coming around to Elden Ring is not Souls, I was enjoying it a lot more. And when I was picking up Ash of War, when I was picking up uh, random weapons and looking at all the faith and end weapons that are in the game, it's just insanely clear to me that they meant for you to really, really enjoy everything. You're just supposed to use all the tools. You're, you know, in, intelligence and faith, magic in general, has always been a very uh, powerful option in Souls, but never powerful enough to really circumvent a boss completely. Although you could do it with very specific setups. Magic worked as a way to ease you through bosses, but you had to know what you were doing, so casuals couldn't do it. In this game, they made magic so that it very much is something that casuals could just do. And then, even if you don't do magic, which is very much a, a easier process in this game, you got summons, man. And some bosses really aren't designed to have a summon with you. They, they, they really are, are very, very fun. I had immense joy fighting uh one on one with some bosses quite a few bosses if i'm trying to think back right now like who was really fun radagon was really fun i enjoyed his fight with the weird horse genital that was super fun um god there was some like side bosses that were really fun you know those 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 uh little circles that we would teleport to the magic world that was fun you know i like that shit that was cool yeah and, and a lot of those fights were one on one i was able to i was able to do the whole game one on one Except that crazy ass Melina chick, which totally just she doesn't like belong in the game. Essentially, she's totally from like a, a an unbalanced version, beta test version of the game or some shit. They just left her in there as an optional. She's like, yeah, fuck it, hard boss, you know, crazy. I think you should play a bit as a magic user. The next time I do this, one hundred percent. Did I say Radagon? I met I met Rodan. Rodan. I beat Rodan one and done. I, I actually kind of liked Radagon now that I that I got through him and stuff. I actually liked him. He didn't have anything that was, uh, like, breaking. Don't you think? He didn't have any game-breaking moves. We did figure out how to roll through some of his explosions, and it's just he has such a series of, like, gotcha moves, right? Because normally he swings and he delays, but he's got, like, a 40% chance of fucking uh, doing, like, a really quick attack, and it's like, ha-ha, got you, because you had to delay 
if, if, if I was that guy, I'd be like, all right, here's a big delay. Here's a big delay. Ha ha, I got you with a fast move. See, I got you with a fast move because I knew my third attack, I usually delay it, but I got you with a fast move. Ha ha, bitch. All right, now do it again. You know, it's like, it just kept being like that over and over until eventually I just got a good variation where it's like, well, if I just plan for the, for the delay stuff and start adjusting to that, then it'll be simple. It'll be fine. And that is a lot of uh, Dark Souls 3-ism in that. That's quite a bit, uh, that's quite a story from Dark Souls 3, the Nameless King. Fucking fantastic fight. He delays stuff, like, kind of unpredictably. And he's got somewhat long combo strings with his delays. He used to be extremely fun. People really love the Nameless King. And I got some vibes from that out of this Radagon dude. He was pretty cool. I liked it. Isn't Radagast the crazy wizard from Lord of the Rings? Yeah, yeah, Radagast, the brown. Uh, I'm talking Rodan, though. The guy had the horse genitals, you know, and shit like that. Uh, I can't, I can't honestly remember, like, everything. There, there, were, there was a lot of fights that we had. A lot of, that, that's the other thing is the game is so big, right? But let's not worry too much about that. I want to talk about that tomorrow. Right now is just my initial vomiting impression of how I felt about the game. Um, and what, I, what we'll do tomorrow is that I will replay clips uh, from my YouTube channel and I'll just be kind of clicking through that but I'm also going to make like a notepad and I'll write down like the pros and cons and I'll try and think of like general topics that we can kind of jump around to I don't do this sort of thing this is brand new to me and honestly my thoughts are so fucking scattered all the time it's really hard to, col to organize that shit so it's going to look messy it might be kind of hard to keep up with me because I'm just going to be flopping everywhere with my brain but maybe if we like list shit out I can kind of look at it and just be like, well, how important is this compared to this, right? How important is it to me? Like, this is a good question. How important to me that this game doesn't play like Dark Souls, but is open world? I can't even really tell you that right now. I'm not really sure. I don't even know how to feel about the open world business in general, because number one, I love having access to a lot of bosses. Number two, dungeons were kind of neat. They were kind of neat, you know? They got a little boring at the end, but still pretty cool, I guess. They weren't terrible. But I was so fucking sick of running all over the place and finding nothing and items aren't very fun, you know? There's so many things to talk about, and that's just the concept of it being open world. But then you got the bleed effect of how being an open world affects all these sub-mechanics about how, you know, engaging bosses is kind of difficult because they're spread all over and you're not even guaranteed to get a boss. You might just get a basic enemy and shit like that. A lot of reused content. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. I think we can organize it, though in a notepad, just pros and cons, and then if we're good, if we kind of rack that up at the end of it, I can just be like, okay, I like this game, you know, it's a good game, maybe it's not a good Souls game, it's like a really good Sekiro style game, it's a good Souls knockoff game, you know, I'm, I'm anticipating that, and right now, like, I couldn't even tell you if I think it's like a 10 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10, hey, you enjoy your meetings, plug in. Uh, 7 out of 10, like, I really, I wouldn't even feel too comfortable giving you a number, because as soon as I say... This game's a 9 out of 10. I start thinking about how much I miss original Dark Souls, and I'm like, man, this is more like an 8 out of 10. And then I think about how fun, like, some of the bosses were, and I'm like, well, you know, that's why I was thinking 9 out of 10, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then, oh, open world, though. I don't know if I'm liking that. It's just all over the place. And I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself tomorrow. You guys might not, but I'm definitely going to be into it. <laughs> I, I like this nerd talk. This is something I don't get to do on my channel very often because usually I'm very affluent in my way of thinking and expressing how I feel about video games because I've got a lot of experience. It's very easy to just, you know, kind of go with the flow on that and let you guys know what it's like and I can condense it down and usually I make a decision pretty easily after I've played it. This is a really rare occurrence where I have played the game and I don't really know what to think and some of that is, is actually pressure, right? It's actually peer pressure from everybody still talking about this game, both loving and hating it. I don't really know where the world sits on it, other than it's got, like, you know, fucking 98 on Mirda credit or some shit like that, 